The Ford double overhead cam six cylinder engine not only has weak valve springs, but they have extremely weak conrods as well. Now the conrod in these engines is the same basic conrod as was used in the 144 and 170 cube six cylinders back in the 60s. It hasn't changed at all. As a matter of fact, it even takes exactly the same conrod bearing all the way through. When Ford started to turbocharge these engines, one of the main problems that came about with the increased power was the failure of the conrod. Now Ford recognised this problem and in the BF engines they increased the strength of the conrod slightly by putting in a slightly heavier forging. As you can see the sides of the beams of the conrod are slightly thicker than the BA type conrod. They're still way too weak for the job. This is what happens when the engine gets a little bit of pinging, a little bit of detonation. The conrods either bend and it drops compression or it crushes the piston or alternatively the conrod breaks in half around about there and then the bottom half of the conrod is left on the crank and it spins around and smashes the daylights out of the, the crank and the block and the sump and the windage tray etc. So what we decided to do was to start from scratch and we came up with a H-beam style of conrod which is that. That's what we call our Super Leggera conrod. Now we made it a H-beam because a H-beam is much stronger in its beam than an I-beam conrod. An I-beam conrod is quite cheap to manufacture but they don't have the structural integrity that a H-beam has. They're called a H-beam because this forms a H when you run your cutter through the centre of the conrod. Two of the features that we have in our conrods that nobody else has is that we have pressurised oil feed to the gudgeon pin bush. Now gudgeon pin bushes wear out in turbocharged engines all the time because of the heavy load on the gudgeon pin from the piston from combustion. We pick up oil from the conrod bearing, feed it straight up through the centre of the conrod all the way through to the gudgeon pin bush so it's constantly fed with pressurised oil. In a normal engine they're only fed by splash so it's not a very reliable system to lubricate something that cops so much load. The second advantage of our pressurised oil feed to the gudgeon pin is the fact that the piston crown is cooled from underneath. Now that's something that many turbocharged high performance engines such as Porsche Turbo, Sierra Cosworth etc etc have fitted as standard equipment, piston crown cooling. So we're the first people to integrate that into the Ford turbocharged six cylinder engine and we've had quite a lot of success with it. Our engines have become more durable, able to handle detonation much more effectively and they've been uh, very very durable in service. Now for the guys that are really want to make a big banger engine, we make another Conrod as well. We make what we call our fat rod. Now, as you can see with the fat rod, we've just trimmed away a lot less material from the 4340 chrome moly blank that we use as a start off point for this conrod. We still have the pressurised oil feed from the conrod bearing up to the gudgeon pin bush. We still have the piston crown cooling, but with a much heavier beefy boom it's able to withstand a lot more loads. We've run these things over 1300 horsepower with total reliability. <laughs> Just a bit of stupidity. 44 cubic inch engines 